Wednesday morning. Uh, I couldn't believe this morning when I stepped out of my house plus six this morning. So I don't know, it kind of got me in a good mood, especially for December 1st. I can't believe it's already December 1st. First semester is almost over. All right, let's get moving today. We're gonna do some nice circles in our space. Okay, I'm gonna go counterclockwise first. No particular reason, but just the first step that I made was that way. All right. <clears throat> so today's workout, we're going to do some lengthening again um, of that posterior side of our body just for one exercise. Then we're going to focus on that upper body. Um, that has a lot of core engagement in it. So it's going to be quite different today. So you'll have to let me know if you enjoy it or if it sucked in a good way or a bad way, I guess. Uh, after that, it's a nice one big complex movement that we're going to do uh, for part B. So a little bit of thinking, but I know you guys are up for it. All right, let's stop. Let's go the other way. Clockwise now. Clockwise meaning going to the right. I guess when we're stepping backwards. Yeah. Good. All right, let's try to speed it up a little bit here. Keep that kind of shoulder and head area almost in the same spot the whole time. Get that body moving around. All right. I gotta start my watch. All right, let's come on in. We're gonna do our uh, some stretching, so nice dynamic. Okay, let's pull that right knee into our chest. Good, left side. Excellent, back to the right. On to the left. <laughs> Good. All right, let's do our scoops. Okay, left foot out. Left foot's flexed as well. Straight leg, bend at our hip, scoop that air. Then we switch sides. All right, left side, right side. Six times each way. Uh, I got caught off guard a little bit yesterday. Uh, Brandy was asking me if she wants to, or if she was able to tell everybody that's in the class that next week is the last week for classes. I did not even realize it. But as you know now, next week is the last week of classes for, uh, for us. Come on up out of that. Okay, let's grab that right foot. Bring it into your butt. Keep those knees together. Drive the right hip forward. Okay. It feels like just yesterday that we started these again. And now we're already done for that first semester. All right. The first semester for us has flown by. Um, like, I guess hopefully it would for most of you. Let's switch sides. Makes our job more enjoyable when that semester flies by. We're not there counting down the minutes that we're at work. Excited for next semester to have everybody back. Some more, uh, let's switch sides. Some more in-person classes. We're gonna try to end up doing a little bit of a hybrid approach here as well with online and in-person where we are doing some uh, in-person stuff, but we're also gonna record it. Um, try to keep the people out of it but just have it on the instructor. Let's switch sides, left side. Um, so we can broadcast it in other, uh, our other three centers when one is having one. All right, so we can still do some live stuff, um, but we're getting our instructors out in all of the different centers as well. All right, out of there. Let's lift up that right, right leg, swing it out to the side, keep it up nice and high, switch, okay? four times each way. Whew. 
There we go. Hope what I said makes sense. <laughs> and I hope that we're able to explain that to people. Let's switch sides. So out to the side, bring it into the start. And people are going to feel comfortable again coming to our in-person classes because virtual is great for what we've had to deal with the last almost two years. But nothing beats doing this stuff in person. All right. Big step backwards. Big step with that left foot. Left hand's coming down inside that left foot. Right arm's coming up. Rotate. All right, open. Down. Step forward. Walk backward. Big step with the right foot. Right hand down, left hand comes up, we'll open up that chest. Good, come on up and grab some water. And then we're gonna get moving. Perfect. Okay, so medium ish weights here okay we're gonna work on some of our flexibility in our hamstring as well as strengthening at the same time all right so we're gonna have two weights out in front of us again i'm medium ish okay i'm gonna start sideways so you can kind of see what's going on i'm a little bit wider than uh hip width okay what i'm gonna do is crouch down as far as we can into our kind of squat position okay i'm gonna put my hands on my weights from this position we are raising our butt, trying to keep that head nice and stable. It is not moving from this position. Then we stand up, come back down into that squat position. Okay, lift that butt up as high as we can. Nice flat back. And we're going this way. So it's helping us lengthen those hamstrings of ours by helping keep that head down as far as we can. If this is all we're getting for that kind of deep squat, that's fine. You're raising that up, trying to straighten this knee as much as possible. You probably are gonna have a little more flexibility than me, and honestly, in your hamstring. If you don't, well, I guess that is also what we're here to do is help lengthen that, right? All right, so let's grab our weights and we're gonna get ready. Again, down out in front of us is how we're gonna start, okay? Crouching down as far as we can. Okay, head up, full time, lift that butt. Okay, and pull. Okay, back down into our squat position. Okay, Let, raise that butt, raise those hips, and lift. Okay, it's also a nice little deadlift exercise because we are going from a dead stop have to lift that right and an elongated hamstring already right so it's giving us a nice range of motion for that hamstring by the time we get to this third set you should be stretched out a little bit and those hamstrings are going to be nice and screaming Nice and tired. Last one. Good. All right. From here, probably about the same weight as what we're gonna go with. Okay, you're gonna grab both of them. We're sitting on our butt. Okay. So it's imperative for you guys to be able to move our feet um, to help you gain your balance. Okay. Sitting up nice and tall. Our feet are gonna be out in front of us. Okay, we're gonna have two weights at our shoulder. From here, we're gonna do a nice overhead press, keeping our balance, okay? This is really gonna engage that core. So what we're trying to do is be able to find a nice balance with where our feet are and us to be able to keep our balance from not having to fall over, all right? So play with the feet distance, right? The further that they are away from you, the easier that this exercise becomes, 
All right, it's just kind of very similar to uh, when we do those sit-ups, right? When we're laying down prone, or I guess not prone, supine, uh, and our hands are above our head and we're doing that. Okay, the closer we bring those heels to our butt, the easier that that exercise becomes. All right, so we're gonna do 10 reps here, okay? So finding a nice position. All right, and we're going ahead. Eight reps. Good job. Hopefully that feels quite a bit more difficult, right? Not necessarily for the press itself, but that core engagement that you can really feel that. All right, third exercise for part A. We are going to do a bicep curl, both. Okay, from here, we're gonna keep those at our shoulders. Now we go into a Bend out our hip, push those back to a tricep kickback, comes back to our shoulders, stand back up. Repeat, curl, bend, kick back, back up and stand. All right, so a nice arm exercise here. Um, we're going eight total, so eight curls and eight kickbacks total, so 16 reps, if you will. All right, so probably go a little bit lighter if you've done kickbacks before, that's probably the weight that we want to go with. That bicep curl is going to be easier than that tricep kickback will be. So find that weight for the kickback. All right. Narrowish feet here, for hip width, and let's go ahead. Curl, bend, kick back, up, stand. Good. Okay. Kick, up, that's two. Good. There's halfway. Okay. Slow control movement, especially for that kickback, controlling that weight. Coming back to that shoulder. Don't just let it fall. Let go. Good. Right on. So that is round one. Whew. Body, upper body is screaming already. Hamstrings are already tight. All right, let's start back at the top. All right. Whew. A little wider than our hips, right? Down into our nice squat position. Lift those hips, flat back and lift. Okay. Nice squat. Up. Okay, really important to have that nice flat back arched, if you will, but the other way, not the way you think, not rounded, right? We want that lower back, a continuation of it already curve, curvature in there. Shoulders back, like it's a nice big deadlift, right? Right on. One more. Excellent. All right. Grab that smaller weight more than likely. Actually, I like, I went to the same weight last time. All right. Sitting up. All right, again, playing with those feet whatever's comfortable for you. Press. Good. 
eight times. Woo. Right on. That's such a nice exercise to make sure that that core gets engaged. I think it gets lost when we do it standing up, right? All right, smaller weights. Curl the kickbacks. All right, let's go ahead. Eight total. Curl, bend, kickback, stand. Nice. Right, control is the name of the game here. You guys keep going. I gotta switch to something just a little bit lighter. Whew. That's it. If you have something super heavy going down a little bit is what we want. I'm not quitting, right? One more here for me. Going eight times, remember? Excellent. Right on, grab some water. Woo. Give those arms a shake. Good job so far. We are getting there. <laughs> this is round three, right? As you know, if you've been here before, round three is our last set for part A. All right. All right. Let's go ahead. Weights down out in front of us, getting down into our nice deep squat. Okay, from here, lift in those hips and pull, okay, shoulders back, head up, that's what we want, hips up, and pull, okay, 10 reps, nice. Come on, let's finish up. All right, couple more, two more here. Let's finish this. Last one. Awesome. Thinking to put those weights away. Those are the ones I need. All right. <sighs> Sitting down on the ground, we got that seated overhead press. Eight reps. All right. Let's go ahead. Nice and tall. Right on. No more of those. Last exercise here for part A. All right. Curl, kick back, eight reps. Come on. All right, push through here. If you've had to come down from weight again this time, that's awesome. Means you're working hard.
Keep breathing. One more. Right on. Okay, part A. Complete. All right, grab your water. I forgot to grab a weight for this one. All right. So this is one we have done before. Okay. I don't know if we've went on this semester yet. Okay, so complex exercise, okay? Multiple parts to one movement, all right? So we have a 60 second work period, 20 second rest. We're gonna go through, yeah, we got time for three times around. So we're gonna do that, okay? Weight's gonna be down in front of us. Deadlift to start, okay? Come up, upright row, okay? Into our, uh, I guess, press, if you will, right? We're bringing it up to press in front, down, nice big squat, press up above our head, okay? So again, real speed, deadlift, row, squat, press above the head, okay? Repeat, ouch, there's a little piece of metal on this, I'm gonna switch. So again, we're gonna repeat that for 60 seconds. Okay, 20 second break. We're just gonna keep continuing doing that as many times as we can in that time period. All right. So we have 10 and then we're off. Two, one, and go. Good. Right on. Okay, no bad. So far, 20 seconds in. Ooh. <laughs> Mixed up there. Good, over halfway. All right, you're doing awesome. We got 10. Sorry, 15 left. Here's where we got to keep working. All right, we're getting tired now. And break. Right on. One round complete. Okay. 20 seconds. There we go again. All right, two, one, and let's go ahead. Nice and quick. There we go. Way to go halfway here. Come on. Ten left. Break. Nice. Two thirds of the way done. One more round of that. Now we can call it a Wednesday. Probably. Or whatever day you're watching this online. Two. One, and let's go. Last one, right? Oh. 
Nice. 20 seconds in. Come on, push here. 20 left now. Come on, you should be tired. Push here. And stop. Awesome job. That is it for today. Walk around, grab some water. All right. <laughs> Got about a minute here. But take a seat. Okay, cross up. Right leg over the left. Right hand is going to go over top of that. Or sorry, left hand is going over top of the right foot. Right arm is hugging that right knee. Pull everything into that chest and that left hip. Okay, nice big pull. Hold. Right on. All right, let's switch sides. Nice. Right hand over top of that left foot, right? Left arm hugging the left knee. Pull everything nice and tight. Awesome. All right, onto all fours. Okay, little finisher here. All right, hips down onto our feet. Hands above our head. Tent those fingertips, push them into the ground. Let that head fall. Relax. Stretch those lats, our shoulders. Good. All right. Bring those hips forward. Arch that lower back or arch your back, period. Okay. Look on up to your ceiling. Awesome. Breathe. Right on. All right. Come on up out of that. That is Wednesday. Thanks for showing up. Um, I appreciate it. Um, I would assume your body does as well. All right? Have a great rest of your Wednesday. I will see you guys on Monday. All right. Take care.